filters part two band stop filters so we have a band stop filter here we have a series lc circuit connected between output terminals of our filter which means uh, we have a short circuit here around the resonant frequency and we have an open circuit for low frequencies and for high frequencies this is band stop filter and uh, this filter is loaded by a load resistance and the question is what sort of of effect would this change have on filtering action on amplitude response what regards uh, resonant frequency bandwidth DC gain and maximum gain so at first we have to replace uh, this uh, resistance this resistance and this voltage source uh, as seen from uh, terminals of this resonant uh, circuit we have to replace them by a Thevenin equivalent we obtain the following circuit now this resistance is R sub T which is lower than original resistance and our input voltage is a voltage divider divider denoted by letter K what regards uh, a resonant frequency same as before always a resonant frequency is one of a square root of LC uh, that is no effect of load resistance what regards um, uh, DC gain and maximum gain we have to recall the amplitude response uh, the maximum gain now is not unity it is Y it is K K it is uh, a voltage divider then for both DC gain and for maximum gain we have a decrease as actually maximum gain is DC gain and finally a bandwidth for this circuit once again we have to recall uh, a formula for quality factor for series RLC resonance circuit uh, we have RT less than R then it means that we have a higher quality uh, a greater value of a quality factor which means that our bandwidth is more narrow than it was before without this load resistance this can be verified by p spice yellow amplitude response is for r sub l much greater than r and practically uh, filter is not loaded and we have a q equal 10 we have a, a bandwidth 10 hertz or exactly around uh, the resonant frequency of 100 hertz for load resistance being uh, the same as R being um, 10 ohm we have a quality factor even greater and we have a bandwidth which is half of the bandwidth that we have had before which is 5 Hertz now now another configuration um, also band stop filter now this uh, parallel resonance circuit connected between input and output uh, port of our filter uh, stops frequencies uh, around the resonant one and passes uh, low and high frequencies uh, then at first we should replace these two resistors by a single one uh, which is obviously less than original resistance of the filter what regards uh, uh, resonant frequency obviously once again there is no effect to answer the question whether DC gain maximum gain decrease increase we have to plot uh, the amplitude response and uh, obviously from this amplitude response we can see that uh, load resistance has no effect on both DC uh, gain uh, which is one and maximum gain which is one as well and then we have no effect no effect here uh, what regards a uh, bandwidth we have to recall a formula for uh, quality factor in parallel resonance circuit in this formula we can see that the lowest value of RT the lowest value of quality fa factor and the broader is uh, the bandwidth then we have increase of the bandwidth and to verify these results we may uh, perform p spy simulations a yellow amplitude response is for uh, resistance load resistance much greater than R and the green one is for load resistance exactly the same as R
Now this time we have for exactly the same values of uh, resistances, coil, inductance and capacitance we have very low values of Q factor which means we have uh, non-symmetrical um, uh, stop band uh, the uh, deviation from the um, resonant frequency, a lower deviation is much lower than a higher deviation um, the bandwidth here is one Kilo, one kilohertz and it is two kilohertz for loaded uh, stop band filter. Okay, and this completes discussion of RLC filters.